want to kind of like log into this uh, Cisco 9300 series switch unfortunately we have forgotten what the password is and so let's say the username is Cisco I'll try to guess what the password is and um, it's not gonna allow us to get in so what we are going to do is to do a password recovery here um, this is quite different from the likes of a uh, 3750 uh, 2960 Cisco switches uh, so what I'm going to do is to power cycle this device so we're going to remove the power cable and um, try to boot it up and we'll get into the password recovery mode so you could see the authentication failed okay so i'm going to remove the power cable all right and then connect the power back a lot of noise um, the switch is booting up it's not booting yet uh, so let's wait for the switch to boot uh, there is a little black button at the front panel of the switch that is the reset button uh, but the switch starts booting so it's still initializing the hardware um, it's not booting yet the moment it starts booting we we'll see the hash symbol on the screen and then we're going to press the reset button here we go so you can see a message here failed to boot from flash aborted okay so i have interfered with the switch booting process so yeah, first off we need to power on the switch we need to press the reset button for like three seconds while the switch is booting and then we need to type in this command here so set switch underscore ignore startup config equals to one and that code is what will um, help us to recover our password so just uh, bring up the terminal and so here we're going to paste that command set switch underscore ignore underscore startup cfg that is config equals to one by default is on zero which means our password recovery is disabled so hit enter key and that's it so we have, we have to boot up the switch now type boot and hit enter all right so the switch should go ahead and boot now all right let's type boot again hit enter the switch should start booting now and this time around we are not going to interrupt it so wait for the switch to boot up we should be able to get inside the switch so you could see that the switch is uh, booting up and um, the moment it finishes booting we are going to get to enable uh, privilege mode global mode with the switch not asking us for password um, if we want to recover the previous configuration file in the switch we are going to run this command here copy start run that will get all the config file in the switch back into our running configuration so that we don't lose any all right so the switch has gotten to the user mode prompt normally if i do enable it should ask me for password but it's not asking me anything at all like password you can see the name of the switch is now switch but if i do this command copy startup config space running config and hit enter you see what is going to happen the previous configuration file in this box will be restored it's asking me if i really want to do this hit enter key yes i want to do it so it's retrieving the previous configured uh, parameters in this box you are going to notice this because both the host name of the switch is going to change um, when we bypass the password and get in it was showing the switch name as switch but you could see now that the host name has changed and that proves to us that we've been able to recover the existing configuration so what we can do at this point is to go to global mode 
by doing conf t and there you can now say no system no system ignore because we ignored the startup config in order to bypass the password and get into this box and now we want to say the next time we want to boot up this device we don't want to ignore the startup config no system ignore startup config switch all right so now what we can do is to reset the password so let's say i do enable secrets of cisco and a password um, i could actually create a username or password and that whatever i set up here will override whatever is previously configured on this switch as username or password and so i could end this configuration save it then reboot the device the next time it comes up we should be able to log in successfully with the new password that we have created all right so we are back into the device and um, we've been able to gain back all the previous configuration files and reset the password to something else and have access to this night 300 series switch so that's how to recover the password so you could see the steps that i used are found here right on top of the screen and that's how you go about getting your password back